macaroni, macaroni. Copper, 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 y'all. It is pouring down raining. I took this vending machine door off. This thing is super heavy. It like ridiculous heavy. The door itself is heavy. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. I am rushing to pick up an air conditioned unit four minutes from here in some apartments that I go to every now and again. So hopefully I can get there. The guy said they just put it out like eight minutes ago. Um, the whole key bridge fell down in Baltimore. Everybody heard about it yesterday. This footage might not be published on my channel for a week or two. But yeah, that's crazy. I just happened to record that short right before the bridge fell down. That's unbelievable. It's been here my whole life. And my Aunt Donna passed away two days before that and crushed my little heart this week. Great, caring, loving aunt for her whole family and it's sad. We love and miss you, Aunt Donna. <sighs> Let's go get this air conditioned, guys. I got a whole load in the back of my truck from yesterday. Somebody called me to pick up stuff and then other people messaged me, etc, etc. So there's two bathtubs on the back of here, a washing machine. I'm going to get this air conditioned, go to my storage unit, grab them radiators from my last video, take everything to the scrapyard. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Everything must go in the rain, Baltimore. Okay, guys. There's the HVAC dudes right there. Hopefully I can squeeze in here and grab the this air conditioner. Right. Should be sitting right out here somewhere. Arrived. Yup, it's right there. Let's go get it. Throw it on the truck. Real quick, guys. I'm taking uh, all this with us. Whoa, this got some frost build up. No wonder this thing got blocked or something and stopped working. I'm taking all these, piling them in here. This is what I got yesterday. Probably have to strap it to the back and block all this from coming off. We're gonna load this up and take it to the storage unit and break it all down. Let's get to work. Got that loaded up real fast, guys. Look, this is the bottom of that. Completely frosted. Ice, 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 ice blockages, blockages. And copper, 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 copper. Let's take this. Go break it down. I don't really have to strap it too crazy because I'm only going like less than a mile, like a half a mile away from here to break it down. Let's get it. Real quick, guys, this came off of that radiator I told you. See the macaroni in there? It had like paint peeling the whole time, but it's all copper. Then here's a little bit more copper and plumber's brass. I'm gonna mix these all in the buckets and then I gotta break down these air conditions. And try maybe to fit these last two cans in here these barrels which i'm not going to cut open and here's that radiator from the bus thing's a monster but with the air conditioned radiators i should have some non-ferrous to take down there yeah and uh me and salvaging and az were just talking about these the microwaves see the magnets you get 10 of these go for uh roughly 48 to 50 dollars on ebay let's get it guys solar copper 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 macaroni 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 hope you guys can see what i can see I'm always worried it ain't pointing in the right direction. Get 
Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Yeah, yeah, radiators. Here's one, and there's two more. I don't have much non fares, but we're gonna take what we can and go get rich. Spring is here, should be getting a lot more air conditioners. Macaroni, macaroni, copper, 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 y'all. Okay, I'm gonna strap everything on here. Figure out how to throw these two drums in there. One more back here. We're out. It's raining. Let's get it, guys. I think I'm just gonna let this guy melt. And I'll have some, uh, little bit of copper to deal with in a day or two. Let's put him in here to melt everywhere. It's snowing in March. Doki, the rain's coming down. Put both the barrels on there, strapped everything real crazy. We're going to the yard in the pouring down rain, guys. Let's get it. Doki, we made it down here in the rain. We're going to get weighed, go throw this out. 7460 are not bad. Stand by, guys. Okay, guys, I'll just move, remove the straps. Um, real quick, unload everything. It's pouring down raining, so I might not get as much footage. Everything must go, YouTube. Come on, baby. I about missed the washing machine. Just in case, it's in pretty good shape. So he might want to keep this junk. Okay, it's pouring and my camera's getting soaked. I'm gonna throw all this out and get more footage in a little bit. Okay, I just threw all that out. They're welding out here. Torching stuff in half. Yeah, those guys that just sit here and cut stuff up all day large things all right what was it 74 to 63 40. i'm gonna go get my ticket and then get rid of this little bit of non-ferris guys in the rain real fast the land of non-ferris not recording them as usual I'm supposed to go pick up this metal shelf unit of some sort like a half hour away after this. It's a pretty far ride. The land of non fares. YouTube, YouTube, really fast. That was 1120 pounds at nine cents. And then the non fares was crazy. Copper was 38. I had sealed units 26, brass 1360. Uh, the radiator is $116 for a total of $198.24, which is crazy. And she just round, rounded it up for me. Dun, 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 dun. Not bad. Um, right now, I'm driving 37 minutes around the Baltimore Beltway, not towards the key bridge that just fell down. 
I'm going the other way to pick up an appliance at, it's called the World of Beer. This thing right here, he sent me a text. I'm going to remove it for him for a fee because it's a far ride. So normally the key bridge is right below Dundalk. Literally right past Al Metals, like another few miles. That part of the beltway goes over the bridge and keeps going around to the southern part of Baltimore. Not no more, guys. It fell down. That's insane. I'm going to pick up this unit in the rain and I'll get footage when I get there. In about two and a half minutes, I will be at this World of Beer place in Owens Mills. Clear on the other side of the beltway from uh, Dunnock, where we just were. Let's go get this appliance on the truck and head back. I got some couches to remove. I've been here in one of these nice buildings back there. Lord knows how I'm supposed to park and all. I gotta call the guy. This should be fun, guys. I'll get footage in a minute. It's this thing right here and it's already unhooked and I just gotta pull it out. Load it up, guys, and then we head out. Can't forget this guy. It is pouring out. These things must break a lot because I've removed a bunch of these from restaurants. Some kind of old oven. Thermalizer silver edition. Come on. There we go. Secure, baby. Let's get out of here, guys. Woo. YouTube. Uh, I didn't record going in the house. I did take some pictures. She had these two couches in the basement. It started pouring and the only way to get them out, I had to cut the couch feet off and drag them upstairs and then drag it across her yard and throw them over the fence. Now they're getting nice and soaking wet and I also took like an elliptical for her. They're getting nice and soaking wet so they weigh more at the dump, but I just wanted to show y'all. Soap. Get more footage in a little while. You so I'm way up in Bel Air, Maryland. I already took the couches to the landfill. I didn't get footage of that. It's more of a scrap video usually. I got a hospital bed and there's also a wheelchair in here and then a dresser I gotta get rid of. But the hospital bed in the wheelchair is going towards scrap metal, obviously. Keep it work, and it's the end of the day, kinda. It's 4 p.m. pouring down rain still, but yeah, hustled all day. Did pretty good today, actually. On to the next one, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you two. This morning, it is pouring down raining. I'm at my storage unit. I picked up uh washer dryer microwave two tvs and a bike chair the other day so later today i'm supposed to go to south baltimore a lady owns a laundromat that's closing down she said there's like 14 dryers and 12 washers or something that all need to go and i told her i'll be there right now i'm emptying my truck getting the yard care stuff and this microwave and stuff off of here Getting the truck empty, I gotta grab this uh, dolly in case these washer and dryers are real, real heavy. And we are going to South Baltimore. Hopefully all this works out, I will get footage. A whole laundromat though, that's gonna be so many appliances. Supposedly the prices dropped today, which isn't good, but let's get it. It's a beautiful day. There's a river.
get it. Pouring down rain now, guys. South Baltimore. We're almost there, two minutes away, up here on the left. Millington Avenue, that's where Sims Metal West Side is. I think it's right down there actually, it is. I'm gonna probably be going to there today. I've never actually took metal to Sims Metal West. I always go to the east side of Baltimore. But today we're going to the west because it's literally like three blocks away. Okay, let's go see what kind of laundromat we're working with. Okie dokie YouTube community laundromat. They had a fire in here. There's no lights. Every one of these units are coming out. I gotta make sure these ain't hardwired as well. We're getting all these out of here if we can. She said the refrigerator, the fan, everything goes. All these metal, everything. So we got a lot of work. Even this vending machine's going. Everything metal. I'm thinking these are all screwed into place, so each one's going to have to be disconnected. Let me go speak to the woman. Uh, I'll get pictures or footage later. Once we start pulling them out, I got to learn how to disconnect each one. Hopefully they're not hardwired, but it looks like they're hardwired. This could turn into a headache, but we're going to see what we can do, YouTube. Everything must go. Okay guys, I took this vending machine door off. This thing is super heavy. It's like ridiculous heavy. The door itself is heavy. Uh, so behind here, these are just plugged in. They're not hardwired. They're still hooked up to the plumbing, but the unit itself is like rock solid. So they might be bolted down so people can't steal them, I would guess. We'll see. There's old chains under there. Okay, YouTube. We got the vending machine out. Uh, this thing was super, super heavy. I pulled the chain thing off it. The uh, bill reader and all came off. And uh, so all these units are bolted to the ground and I don't have my giant sockets with me. I might not be able to pull them today. So I'm taking all the doors off and stuff like that that I can. I'm going to load this into the truck real quick and keep working on it and see somehow if I can get them out of there. Stand by. YouTube, YouTube. This is only two units on here. There's a vending machine and a refrigerator and a hole here because I couldn't get it past. Um, I bit off more than I can chew to be honest. This is like one load. It's not even going to be worth much. Got two out of here. These are all super lagged down and I don't have my large ratchets or my um impact gun with me it's at home like all these could still come out but it's taking forever to unhook the gas and all I, I might tap out on this job which I don't like doing uh, I'm in South Baltimore and that means you got to go through tolls to get here it's like 30 minutes away from my house but this kind of is not worth it for me to uh, come back here, like each one of these needs unbolted, I would be here forever trying to get these. And all these are hardwired up top. And then the gas lines, it, it was a nightmare. All right, I'm gonna um, load what I can and go to the yard and be done here for today. YouTube, I'm at Sims Metal on the west side of Baltimore. I've never been here before. I went through the, the way out scale first and they're like, nah, you gotta come over here. But I've never brought steel here before. I want to weigh in and then go throw everything out. I finally got weighed. I think that's the power over there. It is. That's the big uh, Sims metal. They melt down steel and everything here, I'm pretty sure. Process it and all. Guys, as soon as I bust this strap, everything's going to fall. Uh... I don't know how safe it'll be to record all this, but all this is gone. Uh, right there. This is gonna fall, gentlemen. Watch out. Heads up. What? Right. Yeah. I'll just wait till everything comes out. 
out and be done guys this day was kind of a nightmare youtube i'm only throwing the steel i'm not even worried about any non-ferris i just want to get this done and get out of here Vending machine. Okay guys, I'm gonna throw this out and get footage when I am finished. Woo! One of these monster units. Woo! Okay, so that's all dumped. Truck empty. Waiting to get on this scale and then you park over to the side, I think, and get paid in this building right here. Sheesh. R. Little R. Today wasn't a really good day, honestly. Real quick, YouTube. That was 1,780 pounds. Wow, five cents, that's terrible, $89. Mm, no, 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 not coming back here for a while. We're not even gonna count this. I'm just gonna uh, stop here and on to the next one. Thank you for watching. Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. After yesterday's not so good laundromat mission adventure uh it's a pouring freezing wet day out uh picking this big old hot water heater up real quick feels like they emptied it i'm gonna load this up in this nice empty truck and then there's a little bit of copper and wires in here then i got another hot water heater to go pick up afterwards at some apartments go to the storage unit in a little while and load up a whole bunch of stuff that i've been saving up for a few days we got a lot of work to do the weather's not helping too much but we are being supermen out here ladies and gentlemen it's what we do let's get hey okay, now we're about three minutes away from the next pickup let's go get another hot water heater and put it in here We'll be right there, we'll be right there, we'll be right there. Okay, so after getting mixed up on where this hot water heater is, it's behind these townhomes up here. It's behind this townhome. I probably gotta go around the back and get it. Let's go get a hot water heater again. Okay, YouTube, we got this ready. We moved that guy over. Hot water heater's right up there, that thing. Laying out back at these townhomes. I'm gonna bring the dolly. It is soaking wet. It's like a sponge. I'm getting this hot water heater right here and we're gonna go load it on the truck. This guy, this guy, this guy. Okay, you're coming with us, buddy. Dun, dun, dun. Drag this guy back to the truck through the soaking wet grass. I was wondering, should I just roll this? 
across the whole lawn? I don't know, but it's spongy as crap grass, guys. We only got like 20 yards to go, YouTube. Keep going. Everything must go, YouTube. Everything must go, YouTube. Everything must go. <laughs> Right down that hill. We almost got it, guys. Sheesh. We got it. Sheesh, that wasn't easy, it was way up there in the middle. Secure two water heaters. Beautiful job. Gotta get this brass off. Secure this dolly and we're good. Okie dokie YouTube, on this rainy day, I'm going to one of my buddies, a Jamaican dude. My most viewed video I recorded here like 4500 views or something like that uh he gave me all this corrugated steel and stuff like two years ago and uh he does all the motive work and everything i'll be there in two minutes we'll go see what he's got really quick youtube in the rain there was a bunch of car parts over there and uh i was talking to the, my buddy here and i got some frame pieces of steel some more steel, a couple more little wires and stuff packed in here. And now I'm going to my storage unit to put washer, dryer, and a few other things on here. Build up a load and then take a ride to the scrapyard in the beautiful rain. Let's get it, guys. We have arrived. Arrived, arrived. Let's go get wet one more time, YouTube. Arr. Everything has to go, guys. We're going to load this up. Go down to the yard. Dun, 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 dun. I'm still pulling stuff out, putting it in there. Pop the microwave open. Get out the transformer and the magnetron. So if you look at this one, there was bugs all in there, which is disgusting. And uh, that probably is why the microwave stopped working. The magnetron overheated or something, but I want the magnets, so I'm saving them. Put the other two in here. Uh, I'm almost done loading up. Standing in the rain, guys. Rain, 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 rain. We getting it. We getting it. We getting it. Got some rad radiators too. Just two of them. Oh, there's more in this uh, uh, old air conditioner as well. Okay, guys. I got just about everything on here. Um, I'm gonna bust these open. Are these money bells, buddy? Got two money bells. There's another one over here somewhere. Where's the other money bell? Right there. So we're gonna get the copper off of them and throw them into the bucket. Copper, copper, copper. And I still gotta see what's inside of here. Cut the macaronis off of these. And then I got a little bit of house wire, which isn't much, honestly. It's like a pound and a half, maybe. And this is all stainless steel that came off of a, a restaurant oven I went and picked up the other day and I recorded actually. Stainless, stainless, stainless. But if you pay attention, once this is here, there's a hole right here, meaning it's not actually a full load. I've said this before. I want to fill the whole bed as far as you freaking can like Tetris. And then I still want stuff hanging off the tailgate every time. Plus, I believe the price went down and that's not good, YouTube. That is not good, YouTube. Stainless, 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 stainless. A couple guys were telling me they had a pretty slow week last week. And I was telling them the same thing. So... You win some, you lose some when you're scrapping. But I'm also going to try to go out bulk trash collection and record that as well. 
All right, I'm gonna throw this wash on here, bust this stuff down, and then get out of here. We're in a hurry. Imagine that. It is raining. Two more days worth of rain, I believe, we got coming. My aunt passed away, and it's been pouring ever since. And the bridge fell down. <sighs> All right, guys. Spring showers. Spring showers. We made it. I'm gonna go get on this scale. Yards. They're out there welding in the rain. Huh. The way in. 7400. Let's go throw this out, YouTube. Hey guys, I'm gonna start throwing this out. Get as much as we can. In this pouring rain. Bye bye dryer. This washer pretty heavy. Bye bye washer. We got TVs, bikes, you name it. I don't know if the one guy wants this or not. So I'll try to hold it in case. One of these, this little TV is so heavy, like ridiculous heavy. <laughs> This one ain't that bad. This is a stainless steel door. Got some non ferrous thrown back in there. Guys, I'll get, I'll get more footage when I'm done. It's pouring down raining. Let's go. Okay, 62.20. What we have like 1100 some pounds, 80. We got some copper. There's a little bit of brass under there. We're going to the non ferris and then we're heading out, guys. Real quick, guys, that was 1,200 pounds. It's supposed to be like seven cents now, I believe, which is not good. There's the claw. YouTube, it went down to seven cents. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo! That ain't good. That is not good. Okay, I'm going back in this uh, non ferris line. Go get rid of this little bit of non ferris, guys. Stand by. YouTube, YouTube, real fast. 1200 at 7 cents. Eh. What is that? Like $70, $84? And then the uh, non-ferrous, this whole trip wasn't that great, but you win some and you lose some. Number one copper, 27. Aluminum extrusions, 1050. 
clean stainless 720 for a total of $73. We have Brent Burner. One and twenty, forty, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, ladies and gentlemen. One fifty seven, not the best low, but some days are amazing scrap and metal, and some days are not. And you just gotta keep working very hard, hustling. You gotta have dedication, determination, and motivation. Everything must go. Thank you guys for watching all this rain with me.